These veterans are all in their 80s and 90s now, but they and their families came from all around the country for this 65th anniversary event sponsored by the National Japanese American Memorial Foundation. All right, George. Nice to meet you. On hand was Chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff, Admiral Mike Mullen, who posed for photos with each veteran and hailed their achievements. You represent such a special group of that very special generation and the, the, the courage, the valor, the heroism. Among those present was 88-year-old George Sakato, who wore the Congressional Medal of Honor he was awarded for his part in the battle to rescue the trapped soldiers. He says he's thankful to have survived the war. I've been blown up three times, and I got shot at, I don't know how many times, and then had diphtheria, measles, and pneumonia. The mostly Japanese-American 442nd took heavy casualties, and Sakato says he lost one of his best friends when the Germans counterattacked. And when I crawled over, he died in my arms, and I, after that I just lost it. I said, I'm going to climb this hill and get the SOB that shot him or else die trying. Among the more than 200 men Sakato and his fellow soldiers helped rescue was Jack Wilson, who's now 85 years old. If it hadn't been for them, I wouldn't be here today. The Japanese-American soldiers had left behind their families in internment camps where the U.S. government had placed them out of fear that they might help Japan, something Jack Wilson regards as a shameful chapter in U.S. history. They put them in these internment camps, they lost their homes, lost them dead, lost everything they had but the clothes on their back. Wilson says these men demonstrated both their loyalty and their tenacity. They had something to prove, and they proved it. They proved they were good Americans. 85-year-old Don Secchi lost his left arm to a burst of machine gun fire, but he plays down his own heroism in helping to rescue the lost battalion. We had to do it. Somebody had to do it, you know. So we went all out. That's our motto, anyhow. Shoot, shoot the worst. Go for broke. Seki says that was a spirit drilled into Japanese-American children by their parents. The way we brought up, you cannot let your country down, nor your family down. Even as their bodies become frail with age, these World War II veterans maintain that spirit and their love of country. Greg Flakus, VOA News, Houston.